Uh, all things are become new. The Amplified says, Behold, the fresh and new has come. I want to read you this verse. Uh, I have another translation. I'm sorry I don't have it on the computer, but just listen for a moment. When anyone is united to Christ, there is a new world. I like that, don't you? When anyone is united to Christ, there is a new world. The old order is gone, and a new order has already begun. It's almost as though we can think of it this way, that when we became a Christian, when we uh, got engrafted into Christ, when we received Jesus, it's like God translated us out of one world into a new world. And in fact, the Bible even says it that way. In Colossians chapter 1, Paul says, we have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of His dear Son. You know, when you translate something, you take it out of one and put it into another. We've been taken out of that old life and into another life. I've got a quote here that I want to read to you. And if you've been coming for a while, you've probably heard this before, but it won't hurt you to read it, hear it again. Uh, when Merlin Booty passed away and went to be with the Lord, uh, he, you all knew Merlin, didn't you? Surfaces, did you know him? And uh, Did you know him, Charlie? Did you know Merlin Booty? Yeah. I remember he used to come to Promise Keepers. Uh, when he passed away, Merlin Booty, if you didn't know him, he uh, was a man who uh, traveled uh, the United States buying tapes and books everywhere he went. And he had a whole basement full of Christian literature, books of all kinds, shapes and sizes, and tapes. And, and his family wanted to, didn't know what to do with it all. So they invited everybody that had ministered with him or knew him or was acquainted with him. They invited us to come down to his basement and just take, take away whatever you'd be interested in that you could use. So I was, you know, looking through things and it was like, uh, kind of like a candy store in a way. I, I don't know what to do. You know, I, I felt a little guilty for taking away so many books. But I found a book uh, by an author I'd never heard of, but the title intrigued me. The title was Reigning with Christ. And the author is F.J. Hugel, and I don't know anything about him, but this is a fantastic book, and it's out of print. It's a wonderful, one of the best books I've ever read any time ever. And I came to uh, a chapter in this book called Reigning with Christ where he's commenting on this very verse, 2 Corinthians 5.17, and he uh, brings this same thought that I just read to you from the New English Bible, that when you're united to Christ, you're in a new world. He's taken you out of the old world you used to be in, and it's as though you're in a new world and you've woken up in this new world and you have to learn how, does th how do things work here in this new world. It's all different. It's a, we have to, engraft the, have to receive with meekness the engrafted word to understand the, what this new life is all about. Anyway, here's what he says. Now, just, just listen to this. Because of Christ within, all is now in order. Instead of an earthly order, it is now a celestial order, and the love of Christ constrains us. Where once pride ruled with an iron hand, now the humility of Jesus prevails. Where once lust for pleasure was an overmastering passion, now the desire to serve and help others surges with overwhelming force. Where once vainglory with a secret eye to one's self-aggrandizement and everything reigned, now there is a willingness to be nothing if only God may be glorified. Where once there is offense at every turn of the road and wounded pride ever lusting for vindication, now the sweet forgiveness of Jesus steps in to glorify what would have otherwise been unbearable. Where once there was a fever of haste and rush, now the peace of God's time and place and order brings down days of heaven upon the earth. I think that's really good. I think that's so well said that I don't think I could improve upon it, so I just wanted to read that to you. But what has God got in mind for us? He wants us to live days of heaven on earth. He doesn't want you to have to wait till you get to heaven. He wants you to have a little heaven right now. And the way that comes is because He has created something new on the inside of us. And He wants us to look into His mirror, to in receive with meekness His Word by looking into this mirror of His Word and see what kind of people we really are. And then once we see what kind of people we really are, to just act like that's really true. See, it's very simple, actually. Just act like it's true. It's a little bit like uh, those bracelets people used to wear that said WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, uh, what does Jesus want to do in, in me? Since He lives in me, since I've got His life and nature in me, how do I want to conduct my life in the light of that? Okay, let's all stand up today. Jesus!